Hello, I'm Pagan MC, and welcome back to the Runeglade server. As you can see, through the little window to the side of the nether rack, I am currently in the nether. To build the, well, stargate, nether, nether portal stroke stargate, I believe we're going to need some comparators, so we need some quartz. I'm just near Tristan's portal at the moment. It's the only one that I know that actually has the opening through. So run run as if there is a gas I don't want to blow up. Now I um, think a lot of it Oh no there's some. I only want a couple of pieces. Oh actually what as that one cave an episode I am terrible at getting lost. So let's do a ew screenshot. There we go. Me and uh, Paladinian just been talking about trying to find a Mesa there. I think he's been all over the place. They can be difficult to find. I know in my single player, oh, there's some quartz down there. I went forever without finding a Mesa when the new terrain came in. Once I had found them, they were then everywhere. Oh, oh. Um, can we get down there? Only want a few pieces. Actually, while I'm here, I'll need a few pieces of this. Come on. I hate walking in soil sand. Can I get down here? Oh. Ooh. I always find it so difficult, you can hardly see. Don't know with the textures. Nothing around. Well, this isn't a bad find. I thought it was going to be quite difficult. I think this is going to be enough for all I need. So I'm going to mine this up. And I'll see you back at the base. I got back and collected, yep, got the nether warts, 32. It actually turned out, I was just rechecking my original designs. I did a creative test world. I never used any comparators. Comparators didn't exist when I first made this design. So, at least I've always got nether quartz in there. If I ever need comparators in the future, I've gathered, though, everything together that I need uh, for the portal. All that's left remaining is to be able to get some slime box for these pistons. I was going to say, I know Damon's got a slime farm. So maybe we can maybe do a deal or something. Trade something for the slime blocks. Uh, not blocks, just the slime balls for the pistons. I keep on opening the wrong chest. But what we are going to be able to get through is some of the wiring. So let's take a few of these to start off with. Yeah, I need to do is it like um never good with the technical names. RS Norlatch first. And I am hoping for the button for here. I quite like the little half slabs I've already got in. So what I wanna do I'm gonna clear out some of the sand around so I can fit the redstone underneath. Right, I've cleared out some space underneath. So I left these little half slabs in just so I've got an idea of ground level. So what I'm going to do first is... Is it an RS law latch? I'm trying to remember um, the proper names for everything. I want to take a signal from this button and I believe... Yeah. I was going to put the redstone on a block I can recognise for later, just in case I'm ever digging around here. Right, and we want to put it. Do I want to put it facing this way or? Hmm. 
I've actually got screenshots up on the other monitor just how to build it again. There is a design you can do with uh, hoppers um, but it can often do a double pulse and I do not want a double pulse. It has to be a single pulse that goes out. So I'm... No, it might not make any sense at the moment. So we want... There. How this works. Actually, I, su I suppose I should do that first. If you're unfamiliar with, uh, you can now. Well, it was brought in in uh, 1.7, was it? No, um, 1.6. It was the snapshots of about a year ago today. So 1.5 how you can light nether portals using uh, dispensers with flint and steels in and you can also put them out as well using water buckets so what I want here is a dispenser that's going to have a walk bu water bucket in but for the moment I've just thought I'm not going to put the bu button in as I don't want it to accidentally go off and take out all the redstone with a flint and steel and eventually I'll have that filled up with more so we want when we hit this button it's basically going to have two outputs well three but from here it's going to have one output which will be in like the hours not latch so that will come round it'll either have an on or off state when it's on the on state the signal will come round there'll be a row of pistons at the back that'll all have a probably go for smooth stone that will push forward and they'll be on each row of pistons will be on their own repeaters uh, their own timings to cut down on lag it won't be very often the fire will be portal uh, you know the things going to be used but still have the pistons going off at different times will help out with any lag and it also looks quite cool as well so that one signal will fire all the pistons come back down again a single tick to this dispenser which will light this block and then ignite the portal from so that's one output that has to go from here the other output then to get a double pulse from here for the water bucket as in it's one click for the water bucket to go out to put out the portal but then you have to give it a second click to take the water back into the bucket so that will just have one feed going straight off into this which will be the click to let the water out and then using probably about four or five repeaters set on full timings and then another tick will follow up to turn that off. I've not done redstone and camera before, so I'm trying to think to do this correctly. Um, so I reckon. Just trying to think which way I want it to go through. So yeah, I'm going to do this. This Aris Norlatch. I'm actually going to just do it here, just straight in front. Do I have enough room here? Yeah, so what we want first then is actually let's build this one off so I can take a run out for that. We want a. Have I got the right picture? I said I've got a screenshot open on the other monitor and it's been a while since I've done anything like this. Okay. You out. Let's have a look. We will like that. 
I bet this is quite painful for some of the redstone experts out there. As there might be a lot of better, easy way to do this, but my redstone is quite basic. But I always, I always get the job done anyway, and I suppose that's the main point. And it's not using any budding. Which, while budding is a brilliant tool to use, it can break an update. Which makes it very annoying. So we want... You there... And you there. We want. So look, say I'm looking at. We want. Have I done this one too low? All right, yeah. We want this here. Yeah, and then. Hmm, no, I was right. That there, that there, uh, and we need, if I remember, it's you two, one there, and one there. Do you get the feeling? I bet this design is bust in 1.8. I hope not. And then to take the signal out from this way, and then redstone goes over the top. Well, have I done that right? Hmm. That there. That there. So again, I'm looking at. at, at Right, you there, you there, there we go, so it's been a while since I've done any of this, so that's on, should go off, yeah, and a single board, right, I'm just going to quickly sleep the night away, right, that's the no latch, wired up and then I've got this first dispenser so this is the one that will have the water bucket in I've got the tool pulses here and the single line coming off before the no latch and then two signals again going down, it's a little bit dirty at the end but it works a signal one that goes straight through which will give the first pulse to let the water out and then the second pulse comes down to then take the water back in again. And let's have a see if you can probably hear it. Don't know if you can. So whether the portal is turning on or turning off, this water bucket will always fire. But if the portal's closing anyway, it doesn't matter. And if the portal's open, it'll still let the water. But by time the signal has gone through all the pistons then it's gone down to the flint and steel the water's disappeared anyway so then the portal can light so we need so we don't quite have the sticky pistons yet but we should be able to show you oh come on how the wiring for the back will look so let's I've got the I had some stickies, some slime balls I got when I was visiting Damon. Right, now I've got... Yes, so let's have a, a quick how this works. So we want... So the piston... I'll do the first little row. Am I going to be able to place you flat? I don't need... Oh, no. Um... Yeah, that's right, that's right. So let's just put these on top. And then these will have in... I was going to do a smooth stone. But maybe a block that might match in. 
sandstone might be better. Then you go in here. I can't remember if I actually got. Oh, if I have to invert this signal or not. Let's clear this out. So there might be an easy way to do this. Ever since I originally first built this, I haven't really gone back and you know changed if there's newer ways of doing the redstone. But to get a whole piston wall, this will be pistons right up to the top. We want, and then you off. Then we need redstone torches, and this should fire both top, yeah, top and bottom. So you can see this now fills the spot where the portal's going to be. We want redstone on the top, and then we will have a line that will come from that output there I probably just oh didn't know you could fall between them a line that I will come up to these which do I have enough to make a leave I do so then these will stay permanently on these will retract back the signal will go up the right and then eventually go to the dispenser which will light the portal so I don't have enough to get these in but I can get all these torches in ready right so I've taken the line single I say remember the two, one going that way this one with uh, two uh, repeaters on both at full timing aligned straight up the middle with a little half slab trick to connect to the first row, which does two sets of pistons each time. From, because I wanted a, a, a delay for basically two sets, two sets, two sets, two sets to cut down and lag, and also I think it gives it a better effect as well. Off each layer, we then have another one going up to the next layer with the repeater on full. Another repeat to one full to power the next, and then the same again. So if we go up to the top, and this takes us eventually right to the very top row, and then all that's left now really is switch the wire up, used to take a feed from this very top row to bring the 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 signal all the way down to this dispenser which will then light the portal so the sequence the water bucket will go off either way whether you're turning it on or turning it off and then these pistons if you're turning it on will retract one one don't want one signal come down into the dispenser light hopefully all of these pistons have retracted in time as sometimes lag can make a difference this air will then be free and that a light you can do a little click and you can see the lights go so this will be turning it off then it would shut them all up when you turn it on that's it and you can hear the double click for what will be the water bucket does seem to clear in time water bucket water bucket off it doesn't matter if there's any water in there the blocks will just destroy the water as long as this space is left clear the water will always go back into the dispenser I'm just going to quickly sleep this night away Right, got the wiring finished at the side. Doesn't look very pretty, but it does the job. Does the job nonetheless. Just basically a staircase of wire coming down. And it just as it reaches. Have the repeater going into the block under the dispenser. 
as when I was first originally designing this about a year ago, it might have changed now, when I would try and take this signal from the back here, it could create a budding effect on the piston here, so the piston would stay extended, and then the port would never turn off. But this should now... Yeah, put the water bucket back. This should be a fully functioning portal. So let's... And that goes down, and then it'll come down. Yeah, get in there. And then turn it off. You could see the water there briefly, doesn't matter. One last go. Go through. Yeah, brilliant that. So I'm gonna try and tidy Yeah, I'm gonna tidy all this wiring wiring up, put it back to looking like normal. I'm gonna leave the back all open and I can until I can get the rest of those pistons in. And one last thing before I shut this up, always make sure to light everything up. Not just purely for mob spawns, but it also helps prevent lag as well. As one of the biggest causes of light is still the light is the lighting updates. So lighting everything up helps with that. So that's the portal boxed in a bit more. I've changed out these blocks with obsidian. I think it outlines the portal a lot better. It's what I had in my original when I when I first built one of these. And I think it looks better. I've kind of started to work on the what the feel I want this for. I do want this to be like it'll be a slight overhang and for this to be a bit like a promontory coming out of the ground um, as if it was never meant to be here and it's been plonked here and then over the years over the thousands of years you know sand dunes and bits have kind of half covered it in sand and you know sand dune kind of sweeping around the side and as best you can do in minecraft anyway so let's see what this will look like lit i've just put these torches here for now as i don't want anything spawning on the inside let's see what it looks like oh i was turning it off i couldn't remember which way i'd had it so it's now off yeah turn it on then you should light yeah I'm quite happy with that so well turn off yeah right, I'm going to leave it there for today next ep episode hopefully got all these pistons put in and then work on, well, actually making the thing look like how we wanted to make it. So please leave a comment, like and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.